hi guys uh, we are back with our new video and this time we are back uh, with new video for pivotal profit and loss statement as you can see on your screen that this is the uh, one which will be building up at the end of this video and we'll try to build up through the pivotal uh, tool which is we have in the excel so let's start up with the things and uh, we'll directly move into the excel we jump into the excel and uh, we create one file over here a new excel file and we keep the name of this one as profit and loss so we keep it as in our uh, module for us so just to start off with we will be starting from the uh, from the b column First of all, I'm just taking off the grid line over here. We'll mention profit and loss report. This one will just increase its header. Sorry, we'll have to increase it. There is a spell mistake, so I'm going to correct this one. Profit and loss report, and we are going to to make it align now we'll put some formatting with the colors so what we'll do we'll just click right click over there and in the format cell we'll go and fill over here the fill effects and we'll keep some color so as we are going with the blue color we'll keep this one sorry in the uh, in this one we'll keep this one and the lighter color of that so we'll select this one we want to have a falling impact so we'll select the the, uh, the rows beneath that and we'll go again into the format cell and fill effects then we'll select this one along with this and then the variant and to finalize this it's like this which shall the fill effects and the final one so in the final one as we have to give the whitish look you may select the directly the white color and as you see that it is it has a very light color of the bluish and it will show it you the bluish falling colors so we have started with this one profit and loss report on the top now we need some uh, we need some data over there also so I'm just reading this file with the name data and I'm just copying the data from our module file from here to this point now as you can see it is giving you uh, as you can see that we have a data we, we have a different uh, different fields let me explain it to you all this one so in this data we, we have a financial data for, with the region wise and with the financial air wise over here we have all the uh, fields which are pertain to the income and uh, income statement not the one which with the which uh, relate to the balance sheet so you see that we have a data with a uh, with the regions europe and africa over here and our financial years are for 2021 and 2020 2022 so these two years are, are there then we have uh, the account which is reflecting the description or the head of account and it is uh, giving you the account type and which account type we are having so we have a data for the actual and the financials also so let's put up the uh pivotal table to create the uh to create the income statement so just go into the insert and click on the pivotal table so it's asking it is giving you the data range first of all so you, as you see that the whole data range it's been selected automatically then uh where you want to keep this one we want to keep it in the existing worksheet so just click over here and we want to keep it in this area so i just click over there and i said okay and then 
we done it so now we have a pivotal table over here so now what we have to do we have to select first of all the actual type sorry the account type then we'll take the account under it then your actual figures and the budgeted figures these are the these are the four uh, things which we took it from there and in this one if you go we want the uh, if you go into the uh, sorry so these are the things which we have right now with us what we'll do now we'll just uh, if you uh, if you see first of all we have uh, cogs we have expenses we have income so now first of all we need to take the income uh, on the top instead of cogs and then we have cogs and expenses still we are missing with the two things which are basically the uh, the cross profit and the net profit but before that we'll do some sort of a formatting actually we do not need this uh, header so i'm taking it off uh then we want to keep the actual but this actual shall be different from the one we have over here so i keep the space in the start i remove it similarly with the budget i will i keep it the space so that it can differentiate we'll keep it uh in the middle so it's showing you the figure over here so we have the data of the expenses uh, the uh, in the actual ex the actual figures and the budgeted figures with us now uh then what we have to do we we want to show we do not want uh, we want to show the figures at the bottom of the table so i selected that that we can have it at the bottom of the table and then i just uh just make the uh the space over there a little bit so it can look a better one i'll go give some space on the left hand side also so that we have a criteria for the selections now once we have it after that we'll click right right click over there and we'll go into the pivotal table and we'll just take off this point autofill column and we'll keep this preserved cell over there he said okay then we'll put it for the uh, the formatting so for that we'll go into the format cell into the uh, currency we'll keep the dollars over there so maybe english canada that's fine with us similar to that we'll keep the form itself and we keep the currency in this one so again we'll select the english canada the same currency which we have selected in the actual one also so now that we have it over here, uh, both of them, we have income, uh, uh, we have income, cost of goods, sold expenses, and the grand total. Now, I do not want this uh, grand total one, so I just click on this uh, over here, and I will remove grand total from there. Now that we have uh, with us the income, cost of goods, sold, and the expenses, I'm going to put up the uh for further columns for 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 the gross profit now you will see one thing that i wanted to uh i wanted to add up the item over there but as i kept my uh, my uh, cursor in this in the uh in the fields this i this one is disabled so what you need to do just keep this one on the item so that once you click it over here in the fields items and the settings this you will find it as enable so just click over here in the item and you need to calculate the gross profit so just calculate the formula for the gross profit and put up the formula which one is which could be your revenue also minus 
the cost of gold sold. So this will be called as a gross profit. I said, okay, it's showing to you down, but I need further more. I do not need only the gross profit. I need the, uh, the uh, net profit also. I select net profit. And I give the formula for the net profit, which will be the gross profit minus expenses. So as you can see that it is giving me the gross profit as well as the net profit and it is giving me the line wise. I will just, uh, just click over there to show, uh, narrow down the things and it is giving me the gross profit and the net profit. This gross profit I need it after uh, the COGS. So I will drag this one and I will take it after COGS. So it is giving me the gross profit after that and the net profit is coming in after here. So now what I will do, I will take out the field for the for these buttons. Now this, this is gone. I have a complete data with me right now over here. You can see that we have a profit of around 59,000 against the budget of 73,000 over here. Now, to further uh, move on, what I will do that I need to put the variances also into it. And uh, for that, for this one, I'm going to uh, add the the fields so for this field what i will be having i will be having a variance how can we find the variance here that will be actual minus budget so we have it and we'll put up furthermore and we need the variance Now for that it will be actual sorry the actual divided by the budget minus one now you can see over here that we have it uh, the actual minus uh, we have it for the variances also we can just do it uh like this one similarly we'll just keep the some space and keep the variances only and for that one also we'll keep the space and variance percentage we can just align it into the middle one like that i'll put some space also over here so for that there are some options available where i can put up some spaces also uh if you see insert blank line after each item so it it will give you some sort of a uh some sort of a look over here now for these variances i can convert that one into the percentage so i'm for the f number formatting I'm going to put it as number percentage. As you can see over here that it is giving you the variances in shape of the percentages. I already have it, uh, the um, this one with the borders. But if you want, you can select that one and put some bordering also over here. Like for example, this one, you can put it some borders and like that. I'm not going to do it because I feel that's already a good one. So I'm not going to change that one. Now, even though it looks much good, much better, and uh, but I am I need to have some sort of a, a filters effect also. So for that, <clears throat> I'm going to put in this one a slicer. So, in this slicer, what we'll do, we'll put up some field, insert slicer, 
and you can see it is asking me that how you want to, the slicer to be so i want the slicer uh, to be by region wise or maybe by financial year wise so i put two slicers over there so i kept it i will move it further the column so that it can be fit over here we as per our data we have only two regions which was africa and europe and you can see that it is showing to you and i just narrow it down similarly in the financial year in this data we have two financial years which one is the uh, 2020 uh, 2020 and 21 similar 2021 and 2022 so i just narrow it down so now for example if you click on Africa it will give you the figures for Africa only if you click on the Europe it will give you the Europe figures only if you want the Europe figure for only 21 21 22 it will give you the figures like that so you can easily just filter out the figure with the click of uh, with a single click and if you want to remove it just remove from here and you have a complete data with you now uh, just to put some some formatting, uh, you can what you can do. You can put some conditional formatting over here, and I want that uh, the variances shall show into the data bar. So for that, sorry, I will select the whole one first, so that we can have it in a better way. So now I'll go into the conditional formatting and we'll look out, for example, this one or that one. It's up to you what you want to do. For me, it's a good one. So I kept it uh, this color. So this one, it's a little bit more. So I am just narrow it down till here i am merging it the rest i am putting taking out so that's it our model uh, which we kept it over there was similar to that and uh, now what we have designed is also the one which you can see on your screen so uh, if you see if uh, if i can show it to you that total 59000 profit which we have earned against the budget of 73000 so if you want to see that how much profit you have earned from 59000 from africa you can see that you have earned you have a loss of 9000 from africa and from europe you have a profit of 68000 so if you sum it uh, some of this one is around 59000 which is a profit showing over there you can also put uh, some sort of uh, different formatting here but the basic uh, I mean the, and the basic reporting is showing to you over here is this which we have already worked on I really thanks for you uh, thanks to you for watching this video I'm, I was your host Yasir Iqbal for time being I'm signing out and we'll be right back with a new video thanks a lot